Cruise lines have a history of pushing the envelope when it comes to onboard features, and they're still at it, with 2019 promising to be one to remember for unique facilities on the high seas. Here we present a sneak peek of what's in store for cruise passengers on board the year's best new ships, from crazy go-kart tracks and suites with multi-story slides and from submarine excursions to Wakeview infinity pools. Spectrum of the Seas, the ultimate family suite. Accommodating 4,200 passengers and weighing in at 168,800 tons, Royal Caribbean's Spectrum of the Seas is set to launch in April. It'll boast new two-level 2,809 square foot ultimate family suites that feature in-room slides that go from the top floor to the bottom and a huge karaoke venue. Not only that, it will also include a North Star, a glass capsule that takes guests more than 300 feet above the ocean, a heart-pounding skydiving simulator experience, a three-level main dining room and a bungee trampoline experience. Debut, Spectrum of the Seas will launch in April with a 51-night global odyssey sailing from Barcelona to Shanghai, taking in 13 countries. Scenic Eclipse, Helicopters and a Submarine Boasting two onboard helicopters and a submarine, Scenic Eclipse by Scenic Cruises has been described as the world's first six-star cruise liner. It will feature 114 all Veranda suites to carry a total of 228 passengers, and the liner will also have 10 onboard dining options, a spacious spa, indoor and outdoor hot tubs and plunge pools, as well as a gym and separate yoga and Pilates studios. The helicopter and submarine will be used to take passengers up close to, and to land on, glaciers during Arctic sailings. Debut: The Scenic Eclipse will embark on its first sailing after several months of delay in April. It will be a route from Barcelona to Athens. Cost of Venezia, purpose-built for the Chinese market. Inspired by the Italian city of Venice, the Cost of Venezia, which will be operated by Costa Cruises, will carry 5,260 passengers and will be based in Shanghai. The ship's public areas will be filled with statues and fountains with one area called Piazza San Marco, named after the famous St. Mark's Square in Venice. The Costa Venezia will have a total of 15 restaurants and 6 bars, and cabins will include suites as well as rooms with balconies and ocean views. Debut: The Costa Venezia will first set sail on March 8, 2019, on a 52-night voyage from Trieste in Italy to Japan. Norwegian Encore, Onboard Go-Karting Norwegian Cruise Line's 2019 launch, Norwegian Encore, appears to be the ultimate playground, it will boast the longest go-kart track at sea and a huge water park. And if that's not enough, it will also feature an open-air laser tag course based on the lost city of Atlantis. The huge vessel will be big enough to carry 4,000 passengers, who will also be able to enjoy West End show kinky boots in the ship's Grand Theater. Debut Encore will set off on its maiden voyage on November 2 when it will sail from Southampton to Miami on an 11-day crossing. MS Roald Amundsen, world's first hybrid ship. Named after the first man to reach the South Pole, the Roald Amundsen, operated by Herta Gruten, will launch in May and will be the world's first hybrid ship, running on both electricity and fuel. Accommodating just over 500 passengers, it will sail around both the Arctic and Antarctic and will even include an onboard science center. In addition to vast in and outdoor observation decks, guests can enjoy a drink while taking in the scenery through the large panoramic windows on the forward-facing Explorer Lounge on Deck 10. Debut: The Roald Amundsen will set sail on its maiden voyage, from Lisbon to Hamburg, on May 17. Morella Explorer 2 for adults only. Although not a brand new ship, the Morella Explorer 2 has been given a huge overhaul and will be the first ship exclusively for adults in the Morella Cruises fleet. Special features on board include the 19th hole, a quirky golf-themed bar with golf buggy seating and two golf simulators. Elsewhere on board there is flutes, a champagne bar, which comes complete with the press for bubbles button. Debut: The first new sailing will take place around the Mediterranean in April. Viking Jupiter, a full promenade deck. Named after the king of gods in Roman mythology, Viking Jupiter, operated by Viking Ocean Cruises will be big enough for 930 guests. Standout features include a walk-around promenade deck that fully encircles the vessel and the cabins, which all come with a balcony. On board, 
Viking says that guests find serene Scandinavian spaces, where every room is both beautiful and functional, quiet and filled with light. Debut, Viking Jupiter's first sailing will take place on February 16 from Athens to Rome. It will sail a variety of Mediterranean and Northern Europe itineraries. Spirit of Discovery, a nightclub created by Jules Holland. A ship that can carry 900 passengers and is specifically designed for the over 50s, the Spirit of Discovery is the latest vessel from Saga Cruises. The liner will have a special nightclub created by musician Jules Holland, who will also play on selected sailings. In addition, every single cabin on the ship has a balcony and there is also an onboard theater, salon and spa. Debut, the Spirit of Discovery will set off on its maiden voyage in July with a trip around the UK. Carnival Panorama, the first trampoline park at sea. Passengers on Carnival Cruise Line's Carnival Panorama will not be bored for a moment as it will feature an IMAX theater, a large water park and even the world's first ever indoor trampoline park at sea. It will also feature cycling pods suspended from a track 150 feet above the water. Carnival Panorama will be based on the west coast of the U.S., and will sail in and out of the port in Long Beach, California. Debut, Carnival Panorama will make its inaugural sailing in December 2019 and will embark on a year of Mexican Riviera cruises. MSC Bellissima, Exclusive Cirque du Soleil Shows MSC Cruises will be hoping the MSC Bellissima will live up to its beautiful name when it launches in March. The liner, which can accommodate 4,490 passengers, will feature two new exclusive shows by Cirque du Soleil. In addition it will also offer a water park, a full-size bowling alley and a Formula One simulator. Debut, the MSC Bellissima will be christened in Southampton in March. Sky Princess, Luxury Sky Suites Boasting the largest ever balconies on any of the Princess Cruises ships, the Sky Princess Sky Suites will allow passengers to sail under the stars. However, passengers will have to be quick to book as there are only two Sky Suites on board the ship. Other highlights on the vessel will include an infinity-style wake view pool, two deep tank pools and a host of hot tubs. Debut, the Sky Princess will launch in October 2019 with sailings around the Mediterranean. Hanseatic Inspiration, North and South Pole Voyages The Hanseatic Inspiration will be the second of two sister ships by Haplag Lloyd Cruises making their debuts in 2019. It will be an expedition ship with the highest ice class to travel to the Arctic and Antarctic, and will be bilingual with both German and English being used. The ship will feature stunning retractable glass balconies on the sun deck, so guests can feel as though they are hovering above the water. Debut, the Hanseatic Inspiration, which can carry 230 passengers, will set sail for the first time in October 2019.